Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you how to paint a tailgate for my old truck Dale. So stay tuned. So when you don't have a pickup truck at your disposal, you make use of what you have. Now, thank goodness for grandma because she is so big on the inside, we can fit a tailgate through the back seat into the front. So we're on our way out to the shop now. We gotta stop at CarQuest and pick up our paint and then we'll be heading out there and uh, we'll get this thing all scuffed up and prepped and ready to roll. So we've made it out to the shop and we took some time to get all the leaves and pine needles and all that crap blown out of the tailgate. Now we are just got to sand down all the rough spots and get it ready for some primer. So we're going to do that to time lapse. Hope you watch along. So as you can see, the tailgate does have a few little picks and marks in it, nothing serious. We are trying to maintain the look of an original shop truck, so it's gonna have a few dents and scratches. So we're just gonna get a little bit of body fill, touch those spots up, give it a sand, some primer, and we'll be ready for some color, hopefully. Now we've got to try and get this thing hung up by myself. This ought to be good for some bloopers. Oh my, that was way too much effort. In true old car guy fashion, that was way more work than it had to be. Like a fool, I started priming on the back side first instead of doing the front. Well, as you can see, we're a little thin on the primer, so I've got a different brand. That's all I got left. I'm going to spray this top section again and hope that it doesn't react and I got to start all over again with the sanding. So there we go. We're going to let that flash up and I'm going to go start mixing some paint and get ready to spray some color on it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mix our paint and I sure hope that when I open this lid it's very close to the proper color, the buckskin and not something totally not yellowish. That looks pretty buckskinish to me. So this is single stage, which basically means we're not doing a base clear. So when you mix it, you're going to mix four parts color, one part hardener, and two parts reducer. So we're going to see if we can do this without making a total mess. So there's our four parts. So there's four parts to one, and now two parts reducer. Okay, let's pour this into our gun. Okay, let's do this.
guys, we've got three coats on this and I've got enough paint left over probably to do another one. So we're gonna let it tack up and we'll come back and we'll do another one. And some of you guys are gonna notice that it does say GMC. And I think I mentioned earlier that I'm gonna be putting a piece of trim in there. Well, while I was waiting for this to set up, I got notification that one that I was watching on eBay was a price drop. However, it wasn't low enough for me. So I got to searching again and I found one that was advertised. I think it was like $79. Uh, or best offer. So I offered him 50. He came back at 60. Boom. I picked up that piece of trim for 60 bucks plus shipping and I should have that sometime this week. So we'll be able to cover up that GMC logo with a Chevrolet and finish off this tailgate. I'm going to head outside where I can breathe and we'll close out this video. Whew. Now that is a breath of fresh air. Now granted today it's only about 35 or 6 degrees out, tomorrow it's supposed to be into the 40s and for us up here in Eastern Canada that is going to feel like summer. Out here in a t-shirt, just a slight breeze coming through, but man it is warm inside that shop where we were painting. So keep in mind guys that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is on my channel this week. We do have a guest showing up that you're not going to want to miss. He's an artist and he's been featured in Hot Rod Magazine and it's something that you guys are gonna be really, really impressed with. We're gonna have some of his artwork to show you. And coincidentally, this is how Grant of Car Guy and Six Fan, he is the Six Fan. That's how him and I met, was he saw my Instagram, he saw my Chrysler Cordoba and knew that this guy was doing a uh, uh, artistic painting or of, of some sort at one point in time. He shared that with me. That's how him and I connected. So kind of like our first date, so to speak, Anyways, we'll be sharing that with uh, our special guest coming up on Thursday evening at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic. I hope you can join us. A bunch of car guys talking cars. If you like this Dale t-shirt, you can get your very own at the first link in the description box below. Many sizes to choose from. You can even get it on a hoodie if you want. Help support this channel in other ways than just watching my videos. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. See you in the next one.